Hey Taurus, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for our sign today. That's right, I said our sign because I too am a Taurus sun sign. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but nevertheless a Taurus sun sign. Why, you say, is it important to even know those things? Well, because as a sun sign, as a Taurus sun sign, this is how you receive information. Your sun sign is how you receive information. Your moon sign is how you process information. And your ascending sign is how you spit out information, right? Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. It's important to know those. There's a link in the box below that'll take you to a free unaffiliated website you can download your natal chart and you will be able to see for yourself what your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign is in addition to all kinds of other interesting information. Um, what else? Oh yeah, cross watch those signs because it will give you a comprehensive, a more complete and comprehensive um, perspective about the situations that are unfolding when you're watching these free general readings on YouTube, right? If you would like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. Um, uh, for 40 bucks, we can hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Because this is not a personal reading for you. This is a general reading for the sun sign, star sign, moon sign, Jupiter sign, Mars sign, <laughs> Saturn sign, whatever Taurus you may have in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your other signs. If it still doesn't resonate with you, then it's just not your reading, my friend. All right, let's get started here. This is interesting because the last couple of readings have been about somebody coming back, reuniting and reconciling with somebody. And um, yeah, this is interesting. So, so let's do this, okay? Let's do this. I'm just going to move this over here because it's in my way. All right. So in this top row right here, and this reading is interesting because it's divided into somewhat into two separate subject matters, but yet they intertwine with one another as well. So, so we have you being in transition. You are in transition. You're in transition because you made a decision. This decision that you made is about self-sufficiency, right? You've made a decision that there is going to be a culmination to a situation. And as a result of that culmination, you are going solo. You're going out on your own and you are, are just cutting off whatever this is and you are going out on your own. You're putting it to rest, transitioning into just being your own independent Queen of Swords woman there, right? You're going to manifest something new in your life. Whatever this was back here that you're transitioning out of, um, it's over for you. It's over and you are going to manifest something new in your life. Because with the Two of Swords right there, you have choices. You have choices in your life and you do not need to sit in something that does not serve you. So as the Queen of Swords energy, you're going to cut that out. You're going to cut it out because it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. It's been a burden. Uh, and it's just not giving you what you want out of it. You want wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And whatever this is, is not bringing it to you. So you're cutting it loose. You've been waiting on it for a long time right? You've been waiting, you've been sowing seeds, you've been extremely patient, yet it is still not coming forth. This new beginning, this new opportunity, it's just not happening. And there is an absolute inevitable end to the situation because as the queen of swords, you're cutting it off. You're not waiting anymore. You are going to make progress. You have put it down. You've walked away and you are going forward with victory, success, self-confidence into your life. 
right into your life star card comes in and says that you are you have hope and faith and purpose with yourself you are looking forward to renewal you're looking forward to turning this over and starting again temperance says you have been very very patient with this situation but it's just not giving you what you want right you're finding a new purpose for your life because you have choices you have options you have decisions to make people to see places to go things to do and you are tired of waiting on this tired of waiting on this but hold up just as you decide just as you decide that you're leaving you're leaving this situation, right? You're leaving this situation. Okay, look. There was supposed to be the manifestation of a new beginning, right? That's what you've been waiting on. You've been waiting on the manifestation of a new beginning with, with somebody or something. And it's not happening. So you're leaving. You're out. You're transitioning. Your mindset, your life, the way that you think about things, you're transitioning, right? Not only are you transitioning, but you're cutting shit out. You're cutting it off, cutting it out. You're just done with it. You're taking on the queen of swords energy, right? She is a quick thinker. She's organized inside and out. She's super perceptive. She's independent. And when, when the situation is not producing what she expects it to produce, she will cut it loose and carry on. And that's what you're doing. You are cutting it loose and carrying on because it's not happening. You're going to be independent, self-sufficient. You're going to manifest your own shit. You're going to manifest your own shit because you have choices. You have choices to make. You have, you have options, right? You have options. This card is also a card of just a stalemate, a stalemate. Okay, that, that's actually a better, a better fit for this right here. It's a stalemate, calling it a loss, chucking it up and leaving. Because it's been a freaking burden. It's been a burden waiting and waiting and waiting on this new opportunity, this, this manifestation of this, of this opportunity, this seedling to, to drop down from the sky into your lap so you can, um, you know, carry on with, with, with getting things going, but it's not happening. It's been a burden, a struggle, and you're tired of it. It's not producing happiness or satisfaction for you. It's a stalemate. You've waited on this. You've sown seeds and you have waited on this for a good minute. You've been waiting, look, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You've been waiting for this new manifestation, this new opportunity to, to come into your life, but it's just not happening. And you're giving up with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're, you're, you're giving up. It doesn't matter if it's reverse or if it's this way. The, this card in this reading is an absolute inevitable end. Putting it aside. You're going to start to make some more progress. You start to feel self-confident about yourself. You start to have um, personal victory, right? Progress, self-confidence. Star card comes in and says you feel fresh. You feel hope. You feel faith. You feel renewal in your life. You feel hope, right? Hope. Start the card of Aquarius, by the way, if that means anything to you. Temperance comes in and says, yes, you have been waiting on this for a good minute. Sagittarius, by the way, you've been waiting on this for a good minute. You've had a lot of patience with this, but now it's time to go and find purpose in your life because with the seven of cups, you feel like this was wishful thinking, right? You feel like it was just wishful thinking. Not only do you feel like it was wishful thinking, but you know that you have better choices in your life. There's a better way to spend your time and energy than sitting around waiting, sitting around waiting for this to, to grow. You have better things to do than to, to bear a burden that isn't even going to produce anything. 
and it's ending and you're carrying on, you're transitioning from waiting on this opportunity to, to a new, brand new, bigger, brighter, better you, right? And that's a beautiful thing. That's a good thing. And I can very much resonate with this right here. I can very much resonate with this. Actually, this is kind of where I am in my life right now. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I, you know what? If it's going to take you this long to come around to me, then I really don't think I want it anyway, right? It's like sitting at a drive through restaurant. It's sitting at McDonald's, right? Waiting. There's a line of cars and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And some dumbass at the front wants no pickles on his cheeseburger. And now everybody in McDonald's is freaking out because they don't know how to take the pickles off the cheeseburger, right? And you just want to, you know, you already ordered. You hadn't paid yet, but you already ordered. You're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And you know what? You're just like, I'm out. I don't even want this anymore. I'm not even hungry anymore, right? That's exactly what this is. That's a silly analogy, but that's exactly what this is, right? You've been waiting on your Big Mac for way too long, but the person picking the pickles off just isn't bringing it fast enough. You're out. But hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Because look what happens right here. Boom. Passionate messages come in. Passionate messages come flying into you. Messages about, I'm just going to say it, okay, because this is what the cards are saying to me. Passionate messages about somebody from somebody who was juggling decided that you are the one for them, the one and only wifey material with justice on top, right? Fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. I mean, I don't know how else you want to read those cards, right? Passionate messages, Knight of Wands. Let's just break it down, okay? Let's break it down. Energy, passion, lust, action, adventure, impulsiveness, fire energy, Sag Leo, Aries. Could it be a Sag Leo, Aries? Absolutely. But it could be the snail Taurus that just all of a sudden feels all fiery too. So take it for what it is for you, right? I hate those damn fuzzy things. So Sage burned my whole thing with Sage. Damn it. Okay. So these fiery messages come through, right? Fiery messages come through. Two of Pentacles. Juggling, balance, priorities, juggling. So these messages are about, okay, let's just not even say juggling. Let's say priorities, okay? Passionate messages come in about making you a priority in their life. You, the queen of pentacles right there, Taurus, about making you a priority in their life. Because there has been fairness, truth, justice, cause and effect, universal justice. Whatever this is, this person right here has a fucking epiphany, right? Whatever has taken them so long to pick those freaking pickles off, they, they did it, right? And now they're here. Now they're giving you passionate messages about making you a priority in their life. You, Taurus, right there. Because a karmic justice, universal justice has been applied to the situation. And the hand of the universe has come down and smacked this person up against their head and said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't you know that there is no better choice? Then the Queen of Pentacles? Sorry, cross watchers. I'm biased. I'm Taurus, right? Bias. So there you go. So just as you're giving up on the whole damn thing, boom, this happens, right? This happens. Now you have mental clarity. You have a breakthrough and a mental clarity about the situation, right? Whatever these messages were that came through to you, these passionate messages, it gave you a, a breakthrough and some mental clarity about, about the, the, the loss and the disappointment and the despair that you felt at one point in this relationship. This, this despair that you felt while you were waiting for this to happen. And now there's a brand new 
beginning. A brand new, inspired, powerful, creative new beginning on the horizon, right? I want to point something out real quick, okay? Everybody always thinks, well, I know, let me rephrase that. People tend to think that an ace, um, an ace of wands, just for example, inspired, powerful, creative new beginning, okay? This card isn't the new beginning happening for you. This card is not the new beginning, the new opportunity happening for you. These, the aces, are seedlings. There's seedlings given from the universe because you have already prepared the soil. When you've done your work, right? Worked on yourself, got yourself straight together, okay? And this is such a, I have chill bumps. This is such a life lesson right here. You've been waiting on this and waiting on this and waiting on this. But when you finally decided to put it down and get yourself together, realize your own worth, get yourself together and pursue you, what happens? New beginning. That's because you have tilled the soil. You've tilled the soil of your own life. You've fertilized it. You've prepared yourself for the seedling of a new beginning to be deposited into your life, right? To be deposited into your life. Now your responsibility is to tend to it. Just because this Ace of Wands shows up and says that it's, it's, it's a creative, powerful new beginning, it's, it's the seed that you've planted in the soil that you've prepared. This Ace of Wands, an Ace of Pentacles, any kind of an Ace requires attention. It requires love. It requires watering it, being attentive to it, taking care of it, trimming it, right? So it can grow big and tall, chasing the dogs out the yard so they don't pee on it, right? Keeping the cat out of it, putting covers on it when the frost comes, right? This Ace of Wands is an inspired, powerful new beginning, but it doesn't mean jack squat unless you take care of it. Okay, soapbox there, there you go. So what's on the table now is this passionate new beginning has you contemplating, has you contemplating hard, right? But with the Four of Swords crossing the Four of Swords, it also has you resting and recuperating, right? Healing, healing. Whatever was said, whatever went on right there, healed. You, the relationship. You're now integrating, right? The World card is a card about completion, integration and accomplishment. You are integrating everything that you've just learned right here, compartmentalizing it and putting it away. There is a completion of this cycle, an accomplishment. This card also stands for travel. Can it mean physical travel? Absolutely. But right here, right now, this means that you have dealt with all of this, integrated it, compartmentalized it. It's a completion of a cycle and you are ready to walk forward into a new cycle in your life. Because there's an, there's an ending, an absolute ending, because you guys have talked about things. You've shared with one another. You've talked about things texted, talked, communicated, okay? You've communicated about, about things, about the conflict, and, and now it's, it's all clear. There's an inevitable, okay, let's just put it this way. There's an absolute ending to the conflict because you guys are communicating now. Now you can see the forest through the trees, right? Now you know why this person was so slow to take damn pickles off cheeseburger, right? This causes a transition. 
This is a card, this card of Scorpio. This is endings, change, transformation, and transition in your life. Clarified by transition, okay? So take away all those other definitions. This card right here, right now, is a transition. There is a transition of your relationship, clarified by transition into teamwork and collaboration, into surveying the situation and planning on how you're going to make things grow, right? You are, you are both assessing and planning how you're going to, to procure this seedling. The devil in reverse. All my cards are upright. This one was in reverse, including that ten of swords right there. So the devil, right? Devil in reverse is l releasing limiting beliefs. So whatever communication, whatever is exchanged right here, whatever is said right here has you releasing limiting beliefs, right? They've explained themselves. Now you understand why it took so long. With the Eight of Cups, releasing limiting beliefs with the Eight of Cups. You're going to have to withdraw for just a minute. This is all a little overwhelming and you're just going to have to withdraw for just a second. just going to have to withdraw. Go inside and chill. Yeah, look, up in your head, processing all of this, continuously thinking about it, trying to see truth, trying to make sense of it all, processing it. It's, it's the mental process, right? I mean, you've just been hit with a huge thing. Ten minutes ago, you were ready to go. You were going. You were gone. You were done with it right? And now all of a sudden, boom, all of this happens and you just got to process this. You're processing it. You're seeking truth. You're in the hangman energy, right? You're pausing, surrendering. You're letting go of what you thought was and coming out with a new perspective. There's that knight of wands again. He's, he is in your face, Okay, same Knight of Wands that was over here. He's in your face. He's, he is actively pursuing you. Okay, calling you, texting you, maybe showing up at your house. Don't show up at my house unannounced. I don't like that. But maybe showing up at your house, right? He is manifesting the Empress, which is the card of Taurus. He is manifesting the Empress. Same thing over here. He came back and he said, he said Taurus, I'm going to make you a priority in my life because there has been karmic justice applied to the situation. He is manifesting you and he's, and he's, and he's quite hell bent on it. Quite hell bent on it. Eh, running out of room. He's coming at you. He's coming at you with messages of feels and emotions which makes you have to pause and surrender and not surrender. That's hangman. He may have to pause and contemplate and reevaluate everything. I mean, it's up in your head. You're reevaluating how you feel about this person and the situation, right? Because not too long ago, you were walking away. There you are again, contemplation and reevaluation. This knight in shining armor, this, this charm and this romance and this exchange of feels and emotions, right? It, it's, it's, got you, it's got you locked down, Taurus. It's got you locked down. You're just locked down. You're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I just need a minute. I need a minute. Airbnb me someplace in the mountains for the weekend. I just need a minute, right? You need a minute because you know, you know that once you decide to engage with this person, once you absolutely are all in and you decide to engage with this person,
hold up. What I was going to say is once you decide to engage with this person, you know that your destiny is going to change. Your life is going to change. It's going to be the end of one life cycle and the beginning of a new life cycle. But I didn't realize that the Page of Swords was in there. So there is communication about engaging, about planning for the future and, and moving forward with the wheel of fortune, right? Life cycles, a turning point throws you up in your head, throws you up in your head with the nine of swords, right? Just anxiety, just a lot of anxiety because you know, you see, you knew, you knew back here while you were waiting for this to manifest that, that this has the potential to be gold. It has the potential, so much potential to build a solid future and a solid foundation on. That's why you waited for it for so long. You waited and sowed seeds and, seeds and you waited for it for so long because you know that it has the potential to be solid gold. But you're guarded. You're, you're guarded. You're guarded because you still have that broken heart. You still have that broken heart from whatever happened pre this. You still have this broken heart. And you can't quite seem to get over it. You can't quite seem to get over it. You're guarded, broken heart, because you were left out in the cold. You were. Somehow, some way, whatever happened pre this reading, you were left out in the cold and you had a broken heart. And now that this guy is guy, this person is back again. Now that this Knight of Wands is back again and he's actively pursuing you, you're you're guarded. Because he broke your she, he broke your heart, and they left you out in the cold. And now they want a new beginning and a new journey. Now they want a new beginning and a new journey. And you're like, look, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> really? Uh, loss, regret, disappointment, despair, bereavement. That's what you're thinking about. That's what you're up in your head about. Nine of swords, again, nine of swords. And the nine of swords was right back here too, right? All up in your head. Because you know it's gold. You know it's gold. But you're so guarded because of the broken heart because you were left out in the cold and now they're like, Hey, Taurus, let's start this all anew. Let's have a brand new beginning here. I choose you. And you're like, I don't know if I choose you back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I choose you back. I don't know. Right. And you're, you're in your head about it in your head about commitment. You don't know if you choose them back or not. Right. You don't know if you choose them back. You see, you see the, the, re, the profit and reward from the investment that you've been making, the waiting that you've been doing, the seeds that you've been sowing way back here, remember? Now, now you're beginning to see profit and reward for the investment that you made, but it was an investment that you processed in your mental and in your heart and you put it away. But now it's back again. You see profit and reward. You see success and victory and, and progress. And you want this inspired new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of, Ace of Wands. You want this. You do. The lover's card confirms it. You have much love for this person. You do. You have a lot of love for this person. If you didn't, you wouldn't have waited so long. You wouldn't have waited to the point where you couldn't wait any more and you had to carry on with your life. You have a lot of love for this person. But damn, you just don't trust it. You just don't trust it. Or you're trying to trust it, right? You're trying to trust it because it's beat you down. It's wore you out. It really has. 
it's beat you down and it's wore you out and, and you you gave up, right? This is an energy. He's planted those eight wands behind him. This is the nine of wands. He's planted eight of them. He's got a sweat band on his head. He is tired. He's got that one wand left and he's like, oh, do I really even want this, right? Do I even really want this? I just can't do another one. I just can't. I just can't do another one, right? And that's the energy of, that's up here as well. Leaving, giving up, throwing that last wand down and saying, you know what, it's just not worth it anymore. <clears throat> but this is all happening very, very quickly for you. Very, very quickly. W way faster than you could have ever anticipated. And it does bring you happiness. It does. It does bring you happiness. And it probably gives you a little bit of um, indignation. You do want to give and receive and share with this person. You do want reconciliation with this person. Six of Cups, reconciliation and reuniting. You do want this. And you're going to call a truce. You're going to call a truce to all of the doubt, the suspicion, the, the conflict. Um, you're going to call a truce to it all. Because you see the gold in this person. You see the gold in this relationship. You see the end result is the, as the Ten of Pentacles, as a solid foundation by which you can build a future. And there's much love, so much love. There's so much love. There's so much love. And you're going to go forward, and you're going to build a future with this person. You're going to plan for your future. You're going to take that new journey. After processing it, you're not quick to the, you're not quick to the go, though. Right? You're not quick to the go because you don't trust it. But after all of this processing and all of this stuff, and I'm sure y'all are communicating in through here, you're going to go and you're going to plan your future with this person. You're going to plan your future with this person as a king and a queen. You're going to plan your future with this person as a couple. Judgment comes in and says that is your decision. That is your decision. You are going to go forward and plan your future as a couple with this person. And this is your wish. This is your wish fulfilled. This is the wish fulfilled that you weren't getting fulfilled back here, wherever that was. That was your wish fulfilled. It's your wish. And it brings you happiness. Look, celebration. Joy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, happy. Swift change. You're in. You're all in. You're all in. You pushed all those chips to the middle of the table. You're like, I'm in. Ace of Cups again. Because there's so much love. You have so much love for this person. And they make you extremely happy. Is that awesome, Taurus? That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I guess the moral of the story here is go ahead and give up. <laughs> go ahead and give up because when you finally give it up, stop fighting for it. Stop trying to control it. Stop letting it be the forefront of everything. Oh, look, you hot for him, her, it. You're hot. They, you have a huge sexual attraction for this person and they you, right? So the moral of the story is to give it up. Give it up. Stop fighting for it. Let the cards fall where they may and live your life. Build that foundation. Till your own soil. Till your own soil. Work on you. Invest in you. And when the time is right, the seedlings from heaven shall fall. And you will live happily ever after because you have 
a good foundation by which to nurture this brand new beginning, right? That's seriously, that's the moral of the story. Till your own soil. Prepare your soil because the seedlings from the universe for a new beginning and a happily ever after are on the way. But you're not going to be able to make this grow without good dirt to put it in. Okay, Taurus. All right. That's awesome sauce. I was hoping something else would fly out here, but that's awesome. That's a great reading. And I am excited on a personal level. I am excited. King of Pentacles, new journey, King of Cups. Very nice. Namaste, my friends.